When Hurricane Michael finally moved on, people living in the Florida Panhandle left their homes, walked outside, and saw this eerie yet very yeah. beautiful purple sky. People were catching mm -hmm. this on social media, Snapchat, all over yes. Instagram. Brooks Garner here now to tell us how does this happen? This looks otherworldly. This looks like something you'd see in Star Trek. Yeah. But the answer as to why the sky was purple after this major hurricane, Michael, is quite grounded. Mm -hmm. And it's as easy as asking you this. What color is the sky normally on a sunny day? Blue. Right. <laughs> well, it's blue because of light scattering. You see, sunshine is white. Mm -hmm. And when sunshine, pure white light, hits nitrogen molecules, it casts a blue light in the sky. That's that's why the sky looks blue. It's thanks to the nitrogen particles scattering. Now, in the evening, high clouds were still catching that pure white light above the red of the sunset. Mm -hmm. And what happened, Reka, is that on the ground, when the red beams of the sunset mixed with the blue, ah. purple was a result. This is a process called additive color, and it's a way that a lot of artists will combine light when using projections for various performances. So this purple light, while beautiful, again, as we said, very yep. eerie, it's not an indication of any other weather threat or anything like that, right? There's an old saying that a red sky at night is a sailor's delight, mm -hmm. and that generally means the storm is moving out. In this case, it was purple, which is extra lucky. Unfortunately, okay. <laughs> now, unfortunately now uh, the cleanup begins, but it yeah. is a, a good sign that the storm is over. Yeah, so this is a weather phenomenon that could happen even under the best circumstances, even in our yeah. area. Right, if we had a day of big thunderstorms and it happened right at the sunset, we too could see purple skies.